What's up guys, my name is Beast Mode, bringing you another Gotham City Impostors gameplay guys, and I really just feel like doing a commentary right now. I am bored out of my mind today, uh, my girlfriend's at work, and it's just one of those days, it's raining outside, we're in a tornado watch, it's just like really gloomy out. Um, I've been playing Xbox literally all day. Um, I bought this Gotham City Impostors yesterday at about 5 o'clock. Um, so 5 o'clock right around dinner time yesterday and it is 523 right now as I am doing this commentary as I look at my clock and uh, up until about 3 o'clock today about two hours ago I literally played this from 5 o'clock yesterday till 3 o'clock today with my only break being five hours of sleep because I went to bed at 4 in the morning and uh, then uh, about one hour worth of class so I've literally been playing this game nonstop since I've gotten it uh, <laughs> and I finally just like reached a point where I needed a break it, it's fun, but I was getting so, I don't know, I was just like starting to lose my mind. You know your brain and your emotions you just go to like mush. Like I really feel like I want to go do something, but there's not really anything to do. And so I just end up like sitting there and I'm not doing anything. And then I like try and get back on Xbox, you know, hop on Borderlands. And I'm like, man, nah, I can't play any more Xbox. So I just feel like doing a commentary for you guys right now. Get Tomahawk. There's the Tomahawk, guys. Um... Loving that. I found that weapon out um, after I did that first game for you guys. Didn't know about it then. Loving it. The tomahawk throwing hatchets at people in this game is probably even more satisfying than it is in Black Ops because it is a lot more challenging in this game. Overall melee gameplay in this game is way more challenging than it would be in Black Ops. I could easily pwn noobs in Black Ops, tomahawk and ballistic knife only. Uh, the falcon sword, the sword that I'm using is what it's called. It is good but it's frustrating. Um, I, I really had like high hopes on this game when I first got it and I've been playing it. And don't get me wrong, the game is definitely worth $15. Definitely worth buying, definitely worth a pickup. And I'm still going to continue to play this quite a bit actually right now. Last night, uh, Cornman Gobbles, his channel, uh, it is Cornman Gobbles. But uh, he's one of my good buddies. And uh, he lives in Canada, and I was like, dude, you got to get this game. I, we need to get, like, a party going. We need more people playing this. And he's probably my favorite person to play with. I'm like, you got to get this. Well, he gets the free trial. It only lets him play for an hour, but he got to play with me. And I was like, man, you need to get this. But he didn't have any money. So I, uh, we tr I tried recovering his gamer tag onto my Xbox and then using my credit card on his account to, like, purchase him points. But since he lives in Canada didn't really work because the billing addresses are all different you know me being in the states him being in Canada where there's provinces and regions uh, it just didn't work out so I actually had to transfer him money to his PayPal account but he bought it last night and that's why I was up till four o'clock in the morning because we were just gaming on this game all night <laughs> I got to the point where I was literally losing my mind going frustrated um, the one thing about this game more specific not the game but just the melee part of this game trying to use the knife and hatchets the one thing that really really irritates me. I mean, it just really grinds my gears big time. Um, really, it's about the only damper on this game, I would say, for melee stuff, is when you're going at somebody, you know, you're going to try and chase them down to knife them. If they start shooting at you, their bullets actually repel you. They push you backwards, you know. Instead of being able to continue to run to them and just take damage, their bullets actually push you back. And not only can you not move forward, but you can barely even maintain the position you're at. You actually get pushed backwards. So obviously a lot of the times, you know, I'll swing like my sword at a bigger guy who's got more health than one of the smaller guys. Most of the skinny guys I can kill in one hit. I'll swing my sword at a bigger guy. It usually takes two hits. He has time to then turn and start shooting at me, at which point I get blown away from him and I can't charge back at him. I'm literally just standing there frozen in the open and he's just blasting away with me at his gun. And that's the one thing that's really frustrating to me is if you're meleeing on this and somebody actually sees you and starts to shoot at you, you really don't have any chance of killing them. Even if you're like right next to them, if they start shooting you, it's going to blast you way too far away. The hatchet, however, is really cool. It's difficult to use. There's another nice kill right there. Um, but it, it's so satisfying. It's probably <laughs> the most satisfying tomahawk of any game I've ever played. Um, so overall, guys, I would recommend this game. I've been playing it, like I said, for a long stinking time. I've finally taken a break. I just feel like doing a commentary for you guys right now because I just need something to do. And this is just completely going off the top of my head right now. Like, I really didn't even know what I was going to talk about when I started this. But I guess it's going to kind of turn into a uh, just my impressions on this game now that I've actually played it for a while. This gameplay, guys, is um, it's a game mode called Fumigation. Basically, it's Call of Duty's Domination. 
um, just a little bit different. Basically, there's three objectives, just like three flags, and when you cap them, it actually sends out your color smoke into the air, and down there on the bottom left-hand corner of the screen, you're going to see percentage marks. We're the green team, they're the red. When we hold two of the objectives, the percentage points start to go into our favor, and the objective is to get your percentage up to 100%. Once it gets to 100, it unleashes a special attack like for Batman's team. If you get it to 100%, like a huge swarm of bats comes out of the sky, out of the green smoke, and it wipes out the whole other team and you win. For the Joker, it releases a huge toxin gas. All the bat people die. Jokers win. Basically domination. Just a small little twist. It's a lot of fun though. You get a lot of experience. You rank up pretty quick. And overall, this was a pretty good gameplay for me. The um, reason I chose it is there's a lot of kills, I get first place, I get the most score, but the main thing about it was is I really felt like I played the objective very well. It's really easy to try and go for a high KD and uh, you know just kind of sit around try and pick people off, but I was really trying to charge into the battle, uh, you know, take the objectives because you get 500 points. It's actually it's well worth in this game to get the objectives. Uh, you get five times as many points as killing one person for taking one objective. So. It's definitely worth it to go do that, guys. Uh, but yeah, like I said, this is Fumigation. Probably my favorite game for now. But overall, guys, I would recommend this game still. It start. I'm starting to see some of the flaws, some of the, the small things that maybe kind of irritate me a little bit more. Uh, <laughs> this game is complete nonsense. I'm going to tell you that right now. It's very fast-paced. Um, complete comedy flavor to it. Really, there's so many goofy gadgets, and it, it's incredible to me, to be honest how much stuff they put into this $15 multiplayer game. There is more customization in this game by far than Call of Duty. Look at that. That was a nice throw. Like, I'm going to give my pat, myself a pat on the back for that one. That was, that was a good one. And it may not look nothing special compared to my Black Ops throws. But in this game, that's pretty good. <laughs> but uh, like I was saying, um, this game is good. Uh, there are some flaws, though. It's complete nonsense. Long range, man. I'm on fire with this hatchet right now. I'm going to work with this sword now. A triple kill. And, uh... There's flaws, though. Every game has its flaws. But this game, for being $15, definitely worth it. Call of Duty has way more flaws. And it's made by a full-on development team and everything. This game has way, way more customization than Call of Duty does. It's ridiculous, actually, how much more customization it has. There is... Literally probably like 300 different unlockable type things you can do to change your character. Um, there's a bunch of mods for all the different weapons. There's a lot of different weapons. Um, the One of the main things you can customize is how you look. Like the type of armor you wear, the type of clothes, gloves, uh, your cape, your like headwear, um, all your gadgets and stuff. There's just a bunch of crazy stuff. You can wear shoes that have like half deflated balloons on the bottom like beach ball so that you can like double jump higher. It's just a bunch of crazy stuff, and the game is supposed to be nonsense, and it does a very good job at that. Uh, the thing I like the most about this is it's fast-paced, and, you know, that's why everybody likes Call of Duty. It's fast-paced. This game is probably just as fast-paced as Call of Duty, if not more at times. Sometimes this game is really freaking hectic, and uh, like you see me going off this ramp right there, um, it's very easy to traverse the map. There's also a grappling hook. You can shoot yourself onto any wall, and it just, like, zooms you there. So you can really zoom around the map really fast. It's easy to navigate from point to point. Literally from the spawn, you can get into the enemy spawn within like four seconds, five seconds, you know, depending on uh, if you're next to like a trampoline or uh, one of the ramps for the roller skates. And I know you probably don't understand what I'm saying right now. There's way too much stuff in this game to actually try and explain, but overall, I'm really enjoying this game. It's a lot of fun. I would definitely, you know, if you're looking for a game to play, uh, just to have fun, I would recommend this to you guys. It's definitely worth $15. Um, it's actually more enjoyable to me than Call of Duty is at times. Call of Duty is very frustrating, and it's taken so serious. The one thing I love about this game is nobody gives a crap about their stats. Uh, you know, honestly, I barely even know where my stats are. I couldn't tell you anything about my stats right now because I never even look. And that's a nice thing. You don't see. There's not a lot of camping. Um, there's obviously some people that might do that in every game, but. Really, people play the objective pretty well in this game, and everyone's just running around constantly. There's really no fear of death. There's no penalty for death. So a lot of times, people are just running headfirst towards the objectives, and it's just complete nonsense chaos, uh, which really makes this game unique. That's what makes this game what it is. And as you can see, the map's starting to turn green. We're getting towards the point where we're about to win. Our bat swarm's about to come out, and the game will be over. But overall, guys, this is a really long commentary. 
and I really didn't talk about anything. This is a little bit different than most of my commentaries are, but I really just felt like putting a video out there for you guys. Again, I'm like insanely bored right now. I'm about to lose my mind. So I'm gonna have to go lift or something because I just I need something to do. But uh hope you guys enjoyed this. My name is Beast Mode. I think I have like a two plus KD in this. I'm not sure I didn't include the scoreboard. I don't know why I didn't do that, but hope you guys enjoyed. My name is Beast Mode, like the video, Gotham City Impostors. Definitely go get it. Subscribe. Peace out.